Storybook love. That's the best kind. That's Dan Radio Style. Comes from a princess bride, for those of you that don't know that. I uh, love that song. I always have. It's kind of a odd cult-type uh, cult movie, if you will. But a princess bride. Good movie from like the 80s or some crazy time of our life. Good stuff. Um. Anyway, yeah, there we go. Oh, goodness. What does a sign mean? Oh, my God. I saw a sign. What does it mean? What does it mean? Tell me what it means right now. Now! And, um, no. I'm going to drag it out at least... Five, ten minutes, probably ten minutes, fifteen. So a sign. Seriously, it's a great question. Um, what is a sign? First off, it depends in a lot of ways what a, a sign actually means. Um, to start with kind of the basic sort of concept, uh, you know, a lot of times we people uh, come at signs from a number of dif- different directions. They might ask for a sign, like, please give me a sign to tell me that so-and-so loves me still, right? So you're going to ascribe basic meaning to a sign. So when a sign would happen in that point, it affirms maybe that meaning, right? Like that's what you're asking for. That's what you just got a sign for. So in that case, that's what it means. So if you're trying to figure out something, you're like, hey, what is what does X, Y, and Z mean? Or how can I, um, it, 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 does so-and-so still love me? Are they still thinking about me? Do I have a chance? I know these are the questions we ask. I don't necessarily recommend this path, but it does work. A lot of us go down this path. I will say this. It's shaky from the standpoint of at first you will get great results. Most people, including myself, as I learned about this, is basically how I came to this lesson. And you guys feel free to come to it yourselves. It's a lot of fun. But the more you do it, it becomes almost like you doubt that this is how it works. If you're asking for signs for different manifestations, awesome. If you're asking for the signs for the same basic thing, but it's just because you're doubting it now, like it's a week later and now all of a sudden you're doubting it and you're like, oh, give me another sign universe. There is going to be a point where the universe is kind of like, you should know this. You do know this already. And so I'm not going to give you the sign and then I'm going to see what you're going to do about it. Because at first you're going to go, ah, this doesn't work. And then it's going to needle at you. It's going to bug the crud out of you. And you're going to go, no, I I do believe in this stuff because I can see it all the time. So there must be something else to this. Oh, my God. Aha. The aha moment happens. We decide that there must be something we need to get from this. And generally, then that answer comes. So, again, it can be abused. So I'm just cautioning you, if you're going to do this whole, I'm going to give meaning to something where I'm asking for a sign to mean something to me, like show me X and that means that Janie loves me or show me Y and that means that Bob's not dating anyone else, whatever, whatever you're doing it for. Again, just caution. And it will work usually on the early side. And if you don't use it often, it tends to work better. If you use it frequently, you start getting confused. You start wondering if you're like, which one you're actually getting signs to because I asked one this morning and then four hours later I asked for another sign and then four hours later I asked for another sign. And it's like, well, what the frick sign do you want? And then you get a sign, you're like, I don't even know what the frick that just answered. Ah, right? So again, what are you doing? Are you asking a hundred signs? Like, give me 25 signs. All right, there's four of them. What are you going to do with them? What do they mean? I don't know. You've confused yourself. You don't even know. The universe doesn't know. How? Sure, here's signs. I don't know. There's stuff happening. I'll just throw some stuff at you and, I don't know, see what sticks. So, again, be careful. Don't be asking for a whole bunch of stuff at the same time. Try to minimize it and then wait for a sign or if the, or not, whatever. You know, try not to focus on it. That never helps. But So that's one way you can go. Again, caution. Outside of that. When you start manifesting, this is a big Goddard thing. Actually, Hicks talks about this. this uh, I talk about this too. I mean, Anya's ta- everyone's talking about it because, let me, let me just throw this out there, because it's pretty much solid. This is pretty good stuff. Like, everyone says it because it's true. And, and you will agree. You will find out as you start 
paying attention to all these crazy signs that start happening. But it's when you start doing the imaginal work, when you start doing the asking, when you start trying to create this new environment in your life, thing you're manifesting, the word I like, frankly. That's my old spiritual word right from the, the good old days. When we go down and do the work to create that, the very energy of doing that, we're doing it, one, because we realize we create. Or if not, to some degree, you realize we create our own realities. Otherwise, you wouldn't be trying this. Maybe you're curious and you're listening to these shows. But for the most part, you're already in the concept like, oh, my thoughts have power. Interesting. So what I think, what I say, and even what I do helps manifest. Oh, my goodness. Wow, this is awesome. And for all of you veterans, of course, you're like, dude, really? Why are we backing up? It's because everyone's in different places. It's okay. We love. So yes, you're working on all the imaginal work. All these things are happening. The second you start, boom, put it out there. Now you're a day later. Seriously, it could be that soon. And all of a sudden you see a license plate drive by. And it's got your, maybe your significant person's initials, or maybe it's a job you're trying to get, right? And a billboard goes driving by, and then it's the company that you want to work at right? Or maybe it's a graphic design job that you're looking for. And all of a sudden, this interesting, you know, you're wondering if you should get into maybe a better way to look at it. And you see like, poof, crazy advertisement pops up somewhere in your life. And it's just like a graphic artist kind of dream, right? Like, I don't know, I, I don't think like a graphic artist. So I don't really know what the what would happen, right? But again, something that would be like, ah, doo, 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 like all of a sudden, you know exactly what you're supposed to do. And again, that's a sign that things are in process. What does it mean? Nothing. It means zero, really. It, it means nothing. It shows you evidence that your manifestation is happening. So just because it's a sign doesn't necessarily mean it means something per se. Now, anything, and this is sort of even deeper. Well, let's get a little crazy for a, a hair of a second here. And I do think I'm going to pull off about a 10-minute show. A little bit deeper on what it means is really things mean what we decide they mean. Otherwise, they mean nothing, truly. So whatever, let's, um, you know, someone turns the lights out. That means it's dark. That means it's dark. Well, yeah, but there might be a lot of people that actually that's how they work. And that means it's time to get to work, right? Like backstage theater people, lights down. <laughs> that means it's time to work. You don't talk anymore. You're backstage mode. Doesn't mean, you know, that the lights are out for, right? It, meaning is ascribed by us. In and of itself, it is it is what it is. And that's why a lot of people talk about there is no right, there is no wrong. It's just, it is. And that's truly what it is. It, it is what it is. But when we decide it's something, then that's the meaning we give it. So that is kind of the deeper part. I didn't apologize to get off on this crazy tangent, but the reality of it is. What does it mean? I don't know. You tell me. You tell me. Does it mean that? All right. Because ultimately, if you believe it means it, that's exactly what it means. And when it happens, does it hit you and go like, ha? Ah! And you're like, oh, I think that's what that is. Okay, go. Go with that. Your first impression is usually pretty solid. Okay? Go with it. For the most part, you're going to be on the bases, right? For the most part, you're playing the odds. You're probably on the right track. If you start thinking about it, ah, all right, instantly, I, I'm all bets are off. I, I withdraw the warranty the second you think about it. The second you think about it, the warranty is withdrawn. You've broken the warranty. When you go with your first impression, I'm not saying, you know, just do radical, crazy things. Because there are things you should think about. But when it comes to decisions or what does this mean or whatever the case is, go with that first impression because generally speaking, it's less tarnished. It's coming from your higher self. It's that first poof, gets pushed into you. And it's like, oh, wow, that's cool. I don't know where that came from. And then you go, huh, I wonder if. And now all of a sudden you're a spectator. Now all of a sudden, no, no, wrong. So again, if we're going to decide something means something, Let's make sure we're coming from the right place. Let's make sure we're thinking in a positive direction. Let's make sure we're thinking forward. Let's make sure we're thinking of what we'd like to have. If you're deciding something, you're taking whatever indication that you're on the right track 
Something cool happened that shows that you're on the right track to your manifestation and you've decided it means something, then make sure you decide it means something like, all right, cool, we're getting together. All right, cool, that job's coming. All right, that's really cool. I just got my indication that this is happening. All right, that's really great that this is going on and I can see it now. It's evident in my own life there's actual proof that this is in line. I just need to keep going, keep doing what I'm doing. Versus, huh, that's interesting. It's really cool. Oh, but my friend just said it's a coincidence, and I don't really know if that really means anything, so it probably doesn't mean anything, so I bet you it's still not going to happen. What? Really? Like, if that's the direction you're going to go, you're missing the whole point. Then, And that is your decision. Again, you're deciding that you're wrong, that it's a coincidence. And I don't believe in coincidence at all. But your friend said it's a coincidence. All right. It's okay. That's what your friend thinks. I, I don't know what to tell you. I don't believe that. Like that, I, I don't live in that world. My reality doesn't have coincidences. So, you know, for, I, I know what one is. I, I understand what the word is. I just don't have them. They don't exist in my life. Things happen and they are what they are. It's a beautiful thing. So hopefully this helps. Hopefully this makes a little sense with this whole, what the heck does this sign mean? And I'll tell you what, that's what it means what you think it does all right now we're going out with another great song by journey any way you want it seriously stan radio style thanks so much for joining me Tonight.